Life can easily spiral out of control and become chaotic without a plan and a routine. We all like to believe that we have some sort of routine, but do you have an efficient one? Hi, my name is Cynthia and I am a professional social worker that enjoys teaching people how to create the life they love with planning and organizing. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to get into a rhythm of organizing and planning your life based on a systems method that I created using monthly, daily, and weekly routines. This is part two of a three-part series on how to organize and plan your life. Um, if you haven't watched the first video, watch it, and it's in the cards over on this side or this side, and continue with this video, and let's get started. Some people tend to live day by day and take things one step at a time. This method can work well for some people until they notice they feel as though they have reached a point where they are spiraling and aren't reaching their goals as they may have anticipated. It is at this point where any planning they had can hit a wall and they often give up or start over. So this is why we want to create our 30 day goals and ultimately work towards creating a six month plan for our lives based on four to five life categories that you created from your short term goals using the SMART method in our part one series. It all starts with an idea, then a vision, and a strategy for completing your goal. In this video series, we are going to use our avatar, Sarah, as an example as I work through explaining this concept. Let's introduce Sarah. She has an idea that she wants to go back to school to get her degree and has a desire to see other categories in her life change positively over the next year as well. She has started to make a list of dreams, but this has quickly become a wish list for her because she has no strategy to execute the plan. I suggest that Sarah begins to write down her life categories so that she can begin to develop her journey mind map so that she can see her vision, her current situation, why she wants it, and begin to develop a strategy for implementation. She knows she wants to see a change in her quality of life, career and business, personal development, finances, and health and fitness. She should start by getting a notebook and writing down her current situation in all these categories in brief three to five sentences, if possible. Let's write these down. Okay, so her first category is quality of life. She is currently renting an apartment downtown with a roommate for the past year. Her vision is to buy a condo in three years. She wants this because she wants to have pride of ownership and build her net worth. Her strategy is to look at different home buying loan options and then talk to a financial advisor about her next steps. Her second life category is career and business. She is currently working as a receptionist at a dental office, but is interested in going to school to become a dental assistant. She wants this because she would like to see some other career advancement for herself. Her strategy is to look at different schools to get certified as a dental assistant at her local community college and find out how long it takes, how much it costs, when it starts, and how to enroll. Her third category is personal development. Sarah would like to start dealing with some personal trauma that she experienced in her childhood. So her vision for her life is to be able to handle being around certain situations and people without having a panic attack. Her strategy is to find a cognitive behavioral therapist that accepts her insurance and has availability to start sessions without a long wait list so she can start handling childhood trauma. Her fourth category is finances. Like most people, Sarah would like to improve her credit history and her FICO score. Sarah currently would like to build an emergency fund of three to six months of income over the next one to two years. Her strategy is to review her credit history and credit karma to find discrepancies and pay her debt off and on time each month. To build her emergency fund, Sarah is going to save one paycheck each time there is a golden month. Okay, we are on the last category now, health and fitness. Sarah wants to create a workout plan and schedule to stick with on a weekly basis. For her strategy, she would like to get an exercise app and start exercising at home three times per week for 30 minutes each session. This video, we are going to break down how Sarah can create a routine involving all of her life categories so that she can have an idea and create it into a strategy for execution. Okay, so how do you make all of Sarah's life categories into daily, weekly, and monthly routines? 
So first we start by making 30 day goals and you want to set yourself up to feel like a success. So you want to make goals that are specific and achievable so that you don't feel like a failure for making a goal that is unachievable. She's going to want to start with a month at a glance to get an overview on her goal for each life category and the next steps to achieve that goal for the next 30 days. The mid-month refresher is used as a halfway point check-in to see how you're doing and if you need to change anything. Let's dive into how to create your month at a glance and your mid-month refresher. I have mainly used this method for budgeting and financial goals, but it can also be used for creating 30-day plans. This is what it would look like if it was used for budgeting. It can be tweaked to represent the categories that you feel are closely linked to your 30-day short-term goals. The next step in monitoring your monthly planning is to document your journey. I hope I don't lose any of you. But it is very important to document your process in either a notebook or a planner so that you can see whether your goals are being achieved, advanced, or hindered. Documenting your progress can be a difficult pill to swallow because it may dawn upon you that some of your hindrance to your goals may be due to an internal factor rather than being an external factor. This means that you may have some habits you have that are holding you back from unleashing your greatest potential and achieving your goals. But you must be honest with yourself to realize if this is even true. Use a monthly planner as guidance. You can find planners almost anywhere now and find time to document your journey. Now that you've created your monthly goals in part one, you would need to break down your monthly goals into weekly progress tasks in about four to five steps. One step for each week that month. This method keeps you from feeling overwhelmed and also breaks it down into bite-sized pieces. The goal is to create healthy habits that help get rid of the bad ones that have been holding you back from unleashing your greatest potential. Let's say, for example, your 30-day short-term goal is to obtain your driver's license. Then your four to five steps for that month would vary based on your state. But where I live, you need to take the drug and alcohol course gather necessary documentation, schedule a date with the DMV to take the written exam, schedule a date for the driving test, and that would be your monthly plan broken down into weekly steps. Our avatar Sarah would have a weekly routine that encompasses her goals that she has written for her life categories. Each week, she needs to have one action step that she wants to achieve from her life categories that would bring her closer to achieving her goals. Make sure each step is a SMART goal as referenced in part one of our three-part series. Also, the Happy Planner Dashboard Style Planner is really good for doing this type of planning. Okay, so we are going to quickly recap a section of part one of our three-part series on brain dumping and its significance. This is very important for all the moving parts. Brain dump for 15 to 20 minutes daily or weekly and break it down into three daily tasks to complete towards your weekly goal. There are usually many small steps that we take to achieve a goal that we may not consider as a step, but it most certainly is. Let's use Sarah as our example again for how to create a daily plan and routine. For her life category on finances, she may start a daily habit of logging her expenses in a budgeting app or a budget planner checking her bank account in the morning for pending transactions, and balancing her checkbook in the evenings. The reason for writing down the small steps is so that you can feel as though you're working towards your ultimate goal daily. Use an hourly planner or a daily plan with inserts with the happy planner to achieve this. As a side note, your standard to-do list does not need to be confined into only three tasks. Um, but those three tasks are listed as your top priority for that day to make your system function. Properly. This is not restricted to the only things you do for the entire day either. I still make sure to work, take care of my kids, clean my home, and maintain being a responsible adult in society. This system works well for me as well as others that I have trained. It is totally achievable when you make the system work for you. I have three golden nuggets that help with how the system works for me. One, 
Find the time to plan in your calendar. If it's important to you, make a sacrifice to improve your life and your current situation. Two, break up your planning time so it doesn't feel daunting. Three, the first couple of times will take the longest until you get into the swing of things. But remember that new daily habits create the long-term change you want to implement the strategy. There are a few things that you need to plan effectively, and that is having a planner with a monthly, weekly, and hourly schedule option. Also, a notebook or journal for monitoring progress and brain dumping or a planner that includes the first half of the notebook option, as well as a section for long-term and medium-term planning. With that being said, I will see you in part three of our three-part series on how to plan and organize your life. In that video, we will discuss how to organize your brain dump and short-term goals, medium-term goals, and long-term goals. Don't forget to join my newsletter in the link in the description. When you download your free guidebook, on how to get into a rhythm of organizing and planning your life. I will see you in the next video.